um, they will just preemptively up smash thinking that, oh, you're just gonna, like, let me get this. So, if you see them just already charging the up smash, then you can, like, delay the match so you can, like, get out of the, uh, cart by the time the up smash ends. Yeah. Basically. Oh, TNT in place? Ugh, oh, yeah. Smart. Uh, yeah, that, that was good placement, but, yeah. That grenade is frame one, just like how the can is for Duck Hunt Dog. Oh, well, Wadi with the Mewtwo here, he does have some options uh, as far as, like, edge guards go with Mewtwo. But, mm. oh my god, speaking of edge guards, he's a too Ray with light. the disgusting one-off. I have not seen Sharp play Corrin before, but am I surprised? No, because <laughs> he plays whoever he wants. But I, uh, I wonder what Corrin specifically is, like, great for Sharp. I think matchup. about it so in the far, same so way of like Violet almost. It's just that you have the range and the tools to punish oh, right, Chazo okay, like it. so. I get, I get it now. Yeah, good choice, sir. <laughs> just literally force smash through all the block through like 20 explosives. <laughs> oh. Oof, oh! What a confirm! Oh! What a confirm! Oh my god! You told me to raise steals that stock. What a combo. Catching told, the grenade explosion. He told us. All right, but man, Apollo Kage, he's kind of playing the war of attrition right here, right now. Ooh, back, back throw. Up. Even stops. At the now. ledge. Okay. Ray, he's a play out of his mind if he wants to make this comeback happen. <gasps> okay, yeah. Oh, he no, he a... burned oh, the be no. already. He was so afraid of the Nikita. He was so afraid of the Nikita at the end. Apollo Kage with the enemy chaser across the stage, man. What a play. Three, two, Apollo Kage. Give it up for him, man. He was mashing that up smash. Still. Wow, he nice parried it? Too. Wow. What? what timing? What, what timing? the heck? Is off the stage, oh. and we'll give Sharp the opportunity to take the oh. stock. Now there's the off stage play. Can Sharp catch the, the landing? Mm, what a nice play. What catch, a play. dude. There's a lot of interactions against Sharp. To either hold shield or possibly lose the game. But the oh, win the will finally pay off. We're living. We're living. We're living. Yeah, good, good bait from Sharp. He saved that jump to avoid that. Back oh, air. but he dashed into the back air. Oh, man. That sucks. That sucks for Sharp. But we'll take it. What a crazy, what a crazy game five match. Crazy game. A huge bane in Chazos' game right now. Oh! And we're gonna get the quick heal, the cinematic heal from Best Ness. Oh man, Carl sleeping with that OB. Didn't take any damage last stock either. Yeah, oh, man, yeah. yeah. Best Ness, yeah. he's gonna give it up. I think. I think when he's behind like that, he just. He doesn't want to deal with getting zoned out by the Phantom and being forced to approach, potentially running into that move even more. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, at this yeah, you're right. Honestly, it's at this point like you Bestness has the right idea in mind. Like just how oh, nice. Looking for the landing here on Bestness. May not may not. Oh, jab reset. Ooh, jab mm, what a play. Doesn't get a full conversion off of that, but it's still look at the damage. He's All right, back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Sharp was looking really good in that match, but yeah. man, Best Nest just has the, the clutch factor. So yeah, he's just gonna run it right back. See if he can, he can be the one that's clutched this time. Already oh, huge. triple back air, yeah, yeah. 71% untouched. Oh, no jump anymore. Oh, Sharp Damn! With the JV. The what zero to death. That was actually a perfect edge guard from Sharp, dude. Oh, okay. Punishes the cross there with the back air. Sharp has all the tools yeah. to win this here. Best Nesto calling oh. up the aerial. Yeah, Check shake. Play. Oh, Ooh. that was so good. That was so good. What the heck? <laughs> Who does that? He's that. That was a super good tech chase, dude. That's oh. enough to stop the recovery there because it doesn't auto snap the ledge. There's a few frames you can punish those in uh, those teleports. Really good back air placement from Sharp. 
Oh, the tech chase from Bestness? Yeah. Oh my! Okay, okay. Dude. Not enough though. Oh, oh no! Oh, me! You're... That's the third thing. You're crazy, dude. You are a crazy person. I'm going for the big wall jump. That'd be fun. You guys should sign up. Yeah. But, oh uh, my god. Speaking of signing up, man, uh, Paul Okaka is signing up to deal some damage up against Bestness here. 58% already. So, uh, immediately off the bat, I can tell he knows what to do. Oh no, please. Not like this. Not like this. He almost died. Up attack and then up tilt them. Uh, pretty freely. Oh no. PK oh, everything. Man. Double PK flash into up B. Oh no. Man, this is just really just gonna charge the whole time. And Fall Guy is just, he's, he's waiting. <laughs> he's just waiting. Yeah, I would've played. Oh, yeah, this I would've played. Play. No, that was, that was good patience, dude. I was like... so smart. I was so smart. <laughs> dude, Vestness actually was so damn. Only did 10% on that stock. Oh, try to parry the PK flash, but it took so much percent. The core and it pays off here. Even stocks, man. Kage's chance to stop the 3 0 from Bestness. Oh my goodness, that up B was such a good combo extender. He definitely had a free downer up there. Oh, Kage. Only got one stock left for business, so it's not completely over. He can, if he can get this stock, he can bring this to game five, but Ooh. betting it all. Not game five, I meant to game four, but it doesn't even matter. Bestness taking that 3 0. Paul Kage bang it all on that YOLO forward smash, giving Bestness the easiest, easiest punish. Oh, man.